In this new series, I'll be showing you how to create the UI of the Uber app. To start with today, I'll show you how to create the login screen, which has some really nice animations. So this is how it's going to look. There you can see when it starts out, it gets that nice animation when the image comes in and the screen from the bottom also slides in nicely. Now, if you click on enter your mobile number, we see the screen nicely animates up with this enter mobile number moving to the top, this back arrow appearing and this forward arrow appearing just like the Uber app. If we click this back arrow here now, it nicely slides back down with the get moving with Uber coming back and settling into its original position. This demo is currently playing on my iPhone 6, which I'm mirroring on my screen. All the animations that we're going to build here are going to be completely in React Native. This should be fun to build and you guys will enjoy this. So let's begin. So as always, we started with an empty React Native project created with Expo. And here I have my iPhone 10 simulator running up. So we'll start by installing some dependencies. The first one that we'll install is going to be React Navigation so that we can set up a nice navigation for the rest of our tutorial as well. So npm install React Navigation. Next we'll install this library called Animatable. Though most of our animations are going to be custom, we'll use this just for the layout animation. So just say npm install React Native Animatable. And the last library we're going to be installing is Native Base. npm install Native Base. Again, most of the components that we're going to be using are going to be normal React Native components. But just for a few components, we'll use Native Base so that it looks nicer. We may get this red screen when you install this, so just run npm install to install the missing dependencies. Once that's done, just restart your project and we should be good to go. So now that our project is restarted, let's start by importing the Stack Navigator in our app.js. So import Stack Navigator from React Navigation. Come down here, let's create it. So let's say constant. Let's call that an app Stack Navigator of type Stack Navigator. We have only one screen as of now called Login Screen. And the file little point to is also going to be called Login Screen. Next, let's get rid of this view over here and put in the app Stack Navigator. Obviously, we haven't created the login screen now, so we're getting an error. So let's create that. Let's create a folder called screens. And inside that, let's create the login screen. So in our login screen, I'm just going to import some boilerplate code, which just displays login screen when the screen is viewed. And here on top, let's import login screen inside app.js. So as we can see, our login screen is displaying. We're getting this header on the top, which we don't want. So let's quickly get rid of that. So come inside the login screen and let's write static navigation options is equal to header of null. And as we can see, our header is gone. Let's just have a look at what we're trying to create. So this is the UI that we're looking for. We have a top half, which has the image and the logo in the middle. And then we have this bottom half over here. So let's first create a view with a flex of one. I'm going to get rid of this view. I'm going to be using all inline styles so that they're easy to understand. And inside this, we'll put in something known as an image background. So let's import the image background from React Native. Inside the image background is where we're going to put in the other components. So this image background will take up the complete screen. It has a source of an image that I've put in my assets folder. So we say it's called login underscore BG for me. And we'll also give this a flex of one so that it covers the complete screen. So there we see we've got our background image. So inside this, we'll have another view, which would be the top half. We'll give this view a flex of one. Inside this, we'll put in another view, which will have Uber written inside it. So we'll say text and we'll call that Uber. So let's style this a little. We want the Uber text to be centered. So to the outside view, let's put in a justify content of center and align items of center. Also, we wanted to have a background color of white. So then the view inside, we'll give it a background color of white. And also let's give it a height and width of 100. And also let's align the text inside this as well. So align item center, justify content center. Let's just also make the font weight bold. and set the font size to 26. That looks better. Now let's create the bottom half. So inside image background, we'll create one more view. This view will be divided into two parts. 
So let's create the bottom part first, which is this footer here, which has all connect using a social account. So for that view, let's give that a style. So we'll say style is equal to give it a height of 70 and a background color of white for now. So there we've got our footer. Inside this, let's put in our text. Text, let's say all connect using a social account. Let's style the text. Let's give it a color, a nice blue color and font weight of bold. Now let's get the text in the right place by styling its parent element. We'll say align items of center, justify content of center, and let's give it a border top color of a nice light gray, with a border width of one, and a padding horizontal of 25. Also, we don't want it to be actually in the center. So let's say align items to flex start. That looks much better. Now we're looking to create this top half of the bottom view. Get moving with Uber. For that, come here. I'm just going to comment this to make it a little more clearer. This is the bottom half. Inside that we have one main view and then we have this footer inside it. So we'll create another view here. Let's style that. So we'll say style is equal to give it a height of 150 and a background color of white as well. This height is going to be dynamic in the future. For now to start out, I'm just setting it as 150. So here you see we're getting a white background here, but this border is going out. That's because we just need a border top with the one and the rest of the borders are not required. Once we set that, we see we're getting this nice divider line. So first thing inside this view, we'll put in the get moving with Uber text by putting that inside another view. We're having multiple views because we're going to be animating all of them. So let's put in the text here. Let's just give it a font size of 24. And let's just place it in the center. Align items of flex start. Padding horizontal of 25. And a margin top of 25. There we have it in the right place. This margin top is going to be animated later. And also we'll put an opacity value here of one right now, which we will animate later. Now for the text input here, let's first import the text input. And we'll also import touchable opacity since we want the text input to be clickable. So below the get moving with Uber view, we'll put in a touchable opacity. And inside that we'll put in a view. Let's give that view a style. So we wanted to have a margin top of 25, which is also going to be animated. Padding horizontal of 25. A flex direction of row. So inside this, the first item is going to be an image, which is going to be the flag. So we'll put an image. Let's make sure that we've imported image here at the top. So we'll say source require. And from my assets folder, I'll get the image of the Indian flag and let's style the image to give it a height of 24 and a width of 24 with a resize mode of contain. And there we're getting the flag like we expected. Now let's put another view here for the text input. We want two parts of that text input. The first one should be this text here, which is a text view and the other one should be the text input. So let's style this view. Let's say flex direction of row flex one so that it takes up the rest of the space that's available over here and then inside that we'll just put in the text so there we got the text doesn't look like the way we want it to let's style it give it a font size of 20 and a padding horizontal of 10. that looks better below this text let's put in a text input Let's style the text input with a flex of one again, font size of 20. Let's put in a placeholder. Enter your mobile number. And for Android phones, just put in underline color Android equal to transparent. There we see we're getting the text just like the way we want it. So now we have the building blocks in place. In the next video, we'll start animating this.